This is Brian Kamenetsky with LATimes.com Lakers blog, here with my brother Andrew. Hey! In my hand you will see the Phoenix Suns media guide filled with pictures of all sorts of really good basketball players. Unfortunately for the Suns, not enough of them actually appeared on the court. Steve Nash, Amari Stoudemire, they were out of the game. Injuries. Of course, Terry Porter, he's been fired, so I mean, he wasn't Dion there. Rocket Bell, they were traded. traded. Yeah. That meant not enough players, the good guys from here, and too many guys uh, named you know, the, Lewis, the other dudes. Goran, Alondo, uh, Alondo, the Lopez brother that's not considered as good. Yeah, so uh, it was a tough night for the Suns coming in, and that helps explain why the Lakers walked away with a 132-106 win Thursday night at Staples. Kobe Bryant, Lamar Odom combined for 21 of 25 from the floor. Generally, good things happen when they when you get that kind of production from those two guys. Lakers tight early, but then they closed the first quarter on a 22-6 run. That was basically your ball game from there. It was a laugher. They, the bench is emptied, not in a fighty kind of way, but in an everybody gets to play kind of way. And DJ Benga hit it. floaters. DJ Benga he had his glass. first points of the season. And that's exactly what the Lakers needed tonight. And it was also exactly what they wanted because Kobe said after the game that there was concern that this had the makings of a trap game going against the depleted Phoenix squad at home. You are rested, and they basically just wanted to take care of business early, make sure this one didn't get out of hand and would take a while to wrap up. Lamar Odom was the only starter that played over 30 minutes, and considering they're going into Denver tomorrow night on the back end of a back-to-back, -back, high altitude, they'll get in late. Denver is a good team that can run. That extra wrestle come in handy, and this one played out exactly the way they would have wanted it.